Namaste my friends My name is Paul Kailagin I am a yoga teacher of the system of the Shivananda uh, I would say I am in tradition uh, the Shivananda yoga <coughs> he was the great saint uh, in the 20th of century so in all times I would say yeah he wrote about 300 books he helped a lot of people his students opened a lot of ashrams uh, he, he did so much he was so energetic sane person so Swami Shivananda yeah I'm not a fanatical I'm not in any organization so I don't like to judge to <coughs> to argue to doing some brainwash like people saying like or uh, uh, I'm not trying to push you or force you in any ways so uh, feel free about it I like freedom myself I'm in Brooklyn right now 2021 <coughs> June today is a good day uh, not too hot uh, so uh, I teach about um, 30 years, about 38 years. I started from childhood, so uh, in the States I am about 35 years or so. I can speak and everything, but, I, but it's not easy to find sometimes the right words to <coughs> uh, to explain the spiritual things correctly it's it's not easy even who knows English good so uh, um, I can so I can stop sometimes I'm a meditative person so don't uh, be patient with that so yeah I don't look at the camera all the time because my eyes is not so good so it's uh, I have a problem with retina but it's okay I'm doing yoga <coughs> for eyes and uh, I recommend you too. So in he in uh, um, welcome to my channel actually, and uh, I have video about yoga for eyes and plenty plenty other videos about philosophy of yoga. Mostly it's yoga Vedanta. It's not the religion one of the channel, but yoga it's a spiritual tradition, very ancient. So uh, in here it's about yoga Vedanta. Uh, about uh, practices, about meditation, about health, about uh, mantras, about uh, uh, holy books, many things. Some recommendations, interview, so, uh, and it's not commercial at all. Uh, you can visit me on Instagram also, on, uh, you'll see under the video the information. And uh, <coughs> and the Facebook, so welcome. I'm uh, writing. I'm putting my own phrases there, so my own uh, phrases from my books, mostly from the book, uh, the essence on the altar of love. Yeah, it's my main book. That's about seven thousand sutras there, seven thousand phrases in the yoga way philosophy. Yeah, <coughs> I have plenty of them, about 10, 10,000 10, I mean for now. So, uh, um <coughs> my spiritual name is Shankara, I live in ashrams, my, I have a teacher, I have had few teachers before, so I'm initiated in tradition by mantra, so uh, my students come here like, uh, most I do private lessons. And, um, yeah, all things I do in internet it's for free. People who come in here, yeah, it takes some money. Yeah, but uh, <coughs> so welcome to all my platforms. You can visit my site, uh, pavelkalaginyoga.com. It's going to be down there also, and uh, it's actually it's in Russian language, but it's. Uh, very good program for translate uh, or to translate 
that's about 162 languages uh, this program does like a translation so it's pretty good one even uh, big like companies using it and over there you can <coughs> download it or read uh, absolutely free my book the essence of the altar and love uh, in english over there also it's uh, or any other language <coughs> so uh, I hope you like it so at least it's my own experience it's my own like meditation heart from heart to heart soul from soul to soul like I said it's not like I was thinking about them too much they just come to me basically so it's more like praying or something yeah, um, if you can, if you don't mind, put some comments, and likes, like I would really appreciate it. Uh, comments very important for the people, so uh, the spiritual dialogue, it's like uh, making vibrations higher, like and it helps people around yourself, around us, so it's, it's a good thing. Maybe um, somebody read you, you know, like uh, by reading your comments will you know some, discover some amazing thing for himself. You can help somebody. Yeah, this comments like uh, very important. Like I said, for me it's not that much because I'm not commercial at all. You can ask me any questions. I do recommendations for free. Like so many people asking me many questions on all platforms. So I don't, when I have time and uh, <coughs> enough prana, enough energy, I do that. Yeah. Uh, basically, this is it. Uh, my videos are not too long because I'd like to do some direction to give you know, to give some direction and uh, if the person wants to study it like more it's supposed to be done in yoga uh, with the teacher like with the guru life you know, not by videos because it's uh, otherwise you can do damage uh, you know if you do asana so it's very hard to uh, <coughs> to do explanation by video some holy books it's so many mistakes when the when the translate when they tr were translated from like sanskrit to english from english to russian whatever so many misunderstandings then going on even between teachers Actually, I don't understand why the teachers' arguments with uh, they're supposed to go together, with, uh, you know, with, uh, in the way to the God, to the soul. But anyway, yeah. Today I want to speak about chakras. It's going to be a little guide. Uh, chakras, it's a, it's a big topic. I can do like 20 videos about them. But it's better to study, <coughs> like I said, life uh, with real gurus and using the proper literature, like Yoga Pradipika, like, uh, uh, let's say, Swami Shivananda's book. Or uh, Harish Johari. He's amazing, like, it's a book about chakras, amazing book, he's got chakras, Harish Johari, or you can read Yoga Patanjali, classical one, so, uh, but with the teacher, but you only, if you just, even, if you, Like especially for the new people who just started yoga, it's going to be almost impossible to understand it right. So I'm explaining the basic things, 
to give the certain right dire direction and then you uh, feel free to discover the object, subject or topic. Yeah, chakras. Yeah, uh, it's already on the channel in here, the videos about it's all connected, like video not connected to each other, but the topics very connected. So uh, <coughs> I have videos about uh, bodies of the human, about philosophy, about karma, yeah, about energy challenge, about uh, many others. So about Jiva, about soul, about reincarnation, so it's all connected. And uh, if you put them together, like if you're going to see them together, like uh, you're going to have like pretty much um, the complete picture. I'm not saying it's going to be too advanced. To be advanced with it, you need to practice not just read or to listen to somebody like you you should practice meditation asanas and uh, only through practices nobody's gonna do it for you you know if you read some books it's somebody's experience it's not your personal experience and it's and uh, the feelings of kundalini you know, let's say like in, when it's waking up or the chakras it's so different for anybody everybody is different especially most of the books written like thousands of years ago for different kind of people and so it's uh, it's very complicated sometimes that's why I like to explain it uh, like easy way uh, not because I don't know the topic but uh, uh, I'm in yoga pretty much all my life but I like to be simple, you know, like natural. Like I'm not preparing right before. I know the topic I'm gonna speak, but uh, I'm not preparing too much, you know, like I like life when it's really life going on. Yeah, natural way. I don't wear any masks. Like I like uh, straightforward things. So, uh, <coughs> so I'm not reading from from the paper and anything like that. So about chakras. What is chakra? Uh, from Sanskrit, it, um, you can just say like wheel or circle. Uh, it's a few translations. It is look like circle kind of but at least circle uh, exists over there in the chakra but uh, <coughs> in the different traditions that's why I don't want to speak like too many about it because in the different traditions in Buddhism and many other traditions of Hinduism and it's too many ways to uh, to color it, chakras to uh, it's different pictures of them, you know, like some with the petals, some just uh, just circles, some of them with different colors, you know, and that's why it could be some uh, misunderstanding. And I'd like to uh, you to understand some principle of the chakra what is it like technically you know like uh, essence of the chakra and additional things you're gonna find it in your own tradition like uh, I cannot uh, force it to you like chakra like it's like that it looks exactly like that actually it's not true you know like everybody see chakra differently so uh, it's very hard to because we don't see it right in here like like I see computer uh, and it's not like certain like proof to uh, 
to say it's exactly like that and you're wrong, you know. I'm gonna say like uh, things like pretty much for sure, like what uh, through thousands of years and from my own experience we know. Okay, we have a lot of energy challenge in our astral body. Look for the video, the bodies. We have three bodies, physical, astral body, and uh, casual body. Yes, so uh, chakras, in, it's uh, actually in all three of them, but mostly in astral body, like energy challenge also. So uh, that's when you go into the sleep, let's say, with the, and you see the dreams. You're in astral body that way or you can and when you passed away you in the astral body yeah but in the video with reincarnation I spoke about it pretty much so the chakra uh, it's a consciousness and energy kind of um, place you can say or uh, um, yeah it's basically energy and consciousness center you can say that yeah <coughs> I was finding the word yeah um, so um, that's the one thing and like I said we have about eight, uh, <coughs> eight thousand even more energy challenge and three main of them now it's Sushumna it's in the spine actually Somebody said it's like near spine, but it's reflection. Actually, it's in the spine. Um, it's Sushumna in the middle of the spine. On the right side uh, of the spine, it's uh, Pingala. It's a sun channel. And the Lum channel, Moon channel, I mean. Uh, it's on the left side. It goes. Uh, Ida. Yeah, so it's three of them, Sushumna, Pingala and Ida. And then goes near them like through the whole spine. From here up to down there. The whole spine. So uh, uh, and when these channels are crossing each other, all three of them uh, they um, making the chakra actually that's the chakra when the three channels connected together crossing each other so that's the basic of it you know like uh, and uh, each the center like this crossing thing connected to some nervous uh, I would say when it's a lot of nerves like in the place like solar plexus let's say uh, yeah or glands also so uh, it's seven chakras the first one it's Muladhara chakra and uh, the person who, like, his consciousness and energy on a higher chakra, then he's like on a higher level of consciousness or uh, like energy level, you can say that. <coughs> but it's a little too complicated. Yeah, the first chakra. Uh, 
it's an astral body, but the chakras controlling pretty much the whole thing, like in a physical body, like the glands, organs, and it's connected. Certain chakra connected to certain organs and to certain like glands, certain nerves, and certain feelings, certain like things even, th certain thoughts even. Yeah. So uh, first chakra it's muladhara like root chakra yeah uh, usually uh, <coughs> it's kind of red color chakra yeah but it's different colors like I said in different schools and uh, the figure of this chakra is a um, uh, square yeah it's a basic chakra uh, when we feel uh, like when we feel like no fear and we feel like we're very uh, like strong physically mentally we like uh, sure about things we strongly stay on earth uh, that means the first chakra is pretty strong when you feel fear you're not sure about things you have anxiety and you have like you worry a lot about things uh, so that's uh, That's not only reason the chakra could be, but uh, in the most of the times it's like that. So um, the location of this chakra, it's like um, when the spine just begins over there, you know, like even even a little bit lower. You know, like below your uh, sexual organs, like even even there. Yeah, and it's certain mantras for that. And uh, uh, in Hinduism, it's like a circle with the like a flower with a certain petals in it, and on petals, it's certain like. Uh, uh, <coughs> mantras or uh, some sounds written some letters <laughs> yeah it's some certain frequency for that it's uh, like seven nodes seven chakras like it's uh, yeah very similar to that Yeah, and in the first chakra, uh, it's connected to uh, to your legs. You know, like it's uh, and they and they said like uh, with with they with uh, what feelings it's connected. Yeah, and it's uh, in a chakra. Sometimes when you see this chakra, like uh, in some book. It's a big elephant then. Big black elephant. It means like you very strong, like I said, strongly stand in the earth. You very like uh, you s you could be primitive. You could be without knowledge, but physically very strong and mentally strong. Yeah, that's about the. Uh, first chakra and when uh, if you want to do some to to make it strong you should do a lot of exercise you know the yoga asana is very good proper eating diet you know like walk a lot move a lot you know so uh, that's very good for chakra. Sun salutations, uh, 
jogging, running, bicycles, uh, all things like all physical activities, swimming is good for, for this chakra. Especially asanas are recommended from yoga. The second one is Swadhisthana chakra. It's like nearby our organs, you know, like uh, reproductive organs that can start. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, about elements. The element of the first chakra is um, it's the ground. For the second one, it's uh, water. Yeah, and it's sort of like kind of orange, uh, or between orange and yellow color, usually like that. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> this chakra connected to your reproductive system, so to your uh, kidneys. And uh, to make it stronger, uh, you should do brahmachari, you can say that. So uh, don't uh, do a lot of uh, like bad things into the in the sexual life, I, I would say. Like don't look a lot like for the you know for the adult movies, you know, it's destroying this chakra actually. And don't try not to have too much sex, too much. It's also like, uh, takes all energy from it. It's a second chakra, Swadhisthana. It's kind of, uh, mm, the prana stays there. This chakra collecting the prana. It's like the prana, the energy stays there. You know, that's uh, it's a very important one. When you need extra energy, uh, we're taking it from there. So try not to lose it too much. And kidneys, uh, alcohol destroying it, and uh, all about kidneys. Like, like you. You should drink the good water, the pure water, and enough water. And uh, try not to be too stressful all the time. When you in stress, in tension all the time, it's destroying this chakra. Yeah. When the kidney is weak, you don't have much energy. And when uh, Svatkistana chakra is weak, you don't have enough energy. So and it's better to do for that like uh, Udhyana Banha, who study yoga knows for that. It's very good to massage like by yourself or with somebody uh, lower back area. To do some exercise also like cobra pose or asanas also yeah and another chakra the third one it's manipura chakra it's like uh, near the stomach area like uh, in between solar plexus and the uh, lower stomach Yeah, this chakra is uh, <coughs> represents fire, digestion, if you can say that. So it's connected to um, yeah, to the our stomach, and uh, if you have strong, if you, if you want to have strong chakra, so you should look for your. Uh, what you're eating and uh, the whole exercise with the stomach and also it's uh, connected to emotions also of course so you know when you're stressed out uh, you have upset stomach or something like that you feel it over there 
or sometimes when you can you feel fear you have not only in the chest but you feel it in the stomach area so it's very mm, like sensitive chakra for the any uh, negative emotions so try not to be too stressful especially chronic if you have like chronic stress or depression chronic fatigue or uh, it's like it's killing the chakra also you're gonna have problems with the stomach like uh, uh, I'm not gonna say which ones like uh, gastric things like many things yeah it, it exist yeah So the fourth chakra, it's Anahata chakra. It's right here. We're not talking about panels right now. Like uh, I'm trying to be practical ones. In the beginning, I explained what is it like, how it, like what is made from, like crossing energy channels, and it's it's like kind of connected to nerves and everything. So uh, Anahata chakra is near the chest chakra. It's a it's a green color mostly. Yeah, uh, and uh, <clears throat> this chakra is, f uh, it's already, uh, if the person on this chakra is pretty much uh, advanced person, like spiritually, he feels love and uh, he care about people, yeah. And this chakra is very special. In here, there's two energies connected, like they're crossing each other. One, apana goes up and prana goes down. And these two energies, like they meet in here in this chakra, in Anahata chakra. That's why uh, it's like two triangles. One goes down, one goes up. So, uh, uh, Yeah, I didn't say about uh, the second chakra. It's it's a circle. For the first chakra is a square circle, and the f third chakra Manipura it's a triangle. And this is two triangles. One goes down, one goes up, like Magindovit. Yeah. <coughs> like six. Uh, point the star yeah <coughs> and this chakra is very important of course it's uh, connected to, to your heart to your spiritual heart and to your um, to your real heart so uh, to have healthy heart also uh, you should work on this chakra what to do uh, with this chakra also it goes with emotions but pretty deep one already uh, when you help people when you love care about people like I said not only about people but animals also and trees uh, nature uh, so you uh, actually giving food to this chakra the chakra like uh, becoming more alive yeah it's kind of spiritual one and the next chakra it's Vishuddha chakra it's like in here in your like and the way when the throat is So this chakra, like, uh, it's usually kind of blue color, sort of like that. Yeah, and when you uh, to make it strong, you don't have to talk too much. You know, like, and 
when you sit quiet and meditation helps for this chakra a lot when you meditate and when you, you don't talk much uh, you save the energy in this chakra and uh, then you're gonna like when you speak really nice when the person speaks really nice like uh, and uh, like poets and uh, <clears throat> or people who gives like uh, who talks for a lot of people he's got the strong Vishuddha chakra so try not to talk too much you're losing the energy especially you doing bad thing for your Vishuddha chakra and it's already a pretty high level it's like first two chakras it's very low level of the human so usually it's like people not spiritual people at all like when the consciousness like down there near Muladhara, near Vishum, near I mean uh, Svatkeshana uh, it's like people working, watching TVs, eating and like that even without hobbies almost like animals uh, I like animals but it's kind of a good example. Not in a bad way. It's it is like it is. Nobody is better than anybody. I'm not talking about that. But it's time when the person growing up spiritually. You need just wake up call sometime. So if we have to <coughs> respect each other, anyone. Even when you unlower chakras and you don't know much about spirituality and stuff. But if you're a kind person, if you're a good person, if you help people, that energy goes up even if you don't practice any yoga, anything like that. It's more important the praying, the going towards God to yeah. Like bhakti yoga. In the, uh, Kundalini stays in the first chakra the energy, the energy Kundalini it's another topic when it's waking up and goes up through through your spine you're becoming like like the flowers like opening like lotus you're becoming like more light you feel love, you feel joy, you feel bliss. Yeah. So another chakra, it's Ajna chakra. It's in between your eyebrows. But basically it's not here, it's reflection only. It's inside when you... <coughs> uh, actually it's a, when your gland inside your uh, inside your head uh, stays hypothalamus yeah yeah it's right in the middle of the head actually <coughs> Yeah, this chakra but uh, main people think it's it's in here but it's only a reflection remember like it's reflection in here you feel them but you feel the reflection of the chakras the front of your body or behind your body like in the back but uh, actually they in the spine and this chakra like in the head not, not here but when you're working with the between eyebrows, like in here with this center, you visualization or something, of course you're working with the chakra which is inside. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so uh, sometimes like it's kind of uh, not blue one. I forgot in English how color is that. Like which one is that? It's hard to say. It's not exactly like one color, it's like mixed of the colors. Light blue, like s little gray, something like that. Yeah, but it's not so important. 
yeah and this chakra like it's uh, connected to all like process of thinking of course because it's it's connected to brain and brain on our level it's almost everything so uh, <clears throat> if you healthy mentally it means like you your chakra is it's okay pretty much it's connected to eyes of course like in here like uh, yeah in the eyes it's our soul sometimes we say right so um, when you're working with your eyes even eyes exercises you're working with your chakra with your Ajna chakra when you do Trataka it's like concentration with your eyes on some point between your eyebrows or on your nose or on some subject when you looking at something with concentration when you practice concentration and meditation when you uh, studying uh, the holy books uh, listening for the guru uh, it's connected to this chakra it's the kind of knowledge one yeah and the last one it's uh, sahasrara sometimes people not calling this even chakra it's like they're calling it thousands petals flower lotus flower mostly but not exactly it's just a symbol uh, yeah that's why i didn't speak about symbols today like like for the second chakra it's crocodile because of the water you know like it's uh, uh, Otherwise, we're going to speak for forever. It's not that important. So when the person got enlightened, got in Samadhi, he, he reached his energy and consciousness, stays in your Sahasrara Chakra. It's right above your head. Like Neem sometimes. Remember like saint people? And the pictures, you see some circle over here. That that's the Sahasrara chakra. Yeah. But it's much more complicated. It it's just few examples I gave. And I wanna say mm, few few more things about chakras. Uh, first of all, they very connected to each other. If let's say one chakra going uh, like it's a problem with, with the chakra, it's going to be the problem usually with another one. Like the organs. If your kidneys are not so good, so uh, you're gonna, you might have the problems with the heart or with the liver. So it's all connected like in our bodies, the same with the chakras. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, my recommendation is to work on your weak chakra to build some good qualities on a health level to do something uh, to work on your yeah to make stronger your weak chakra by working with your strong chakra you know using your strong chakra you're working on your weak chakra that's the way how it goes that's the best system to work on it so let's, let's say you speak good you know like you can you have power with that people listening to you and you're using this chakra and you get energy from the people then they appreciate it and you got the energy for the weak chakra, let's say for Sahasrara chakra. So it's not exactly directly you're working only with one chakra, it's all connected. You know, like you should, uh, uh <coughs> it's a very complicated system. Like our body, like we're going to the different doctors, you know, the same thing. And a few more things I want to say. Uh, also, we have 
additional chakras like Guru Chakra and Soma Chakra it's in here basically Guru Chakra Soma Chakra yeah in the area of the forehead you can read about them and also we have additional seven chakras under the first chakra Muladhara it goes in between your legs uh, it's like animals chakras you can say that you know like it's they're not working so they exist but they but they sleeping they're not like uh, working with, with your system but you have them and also uh, you have chakras on any joints so it's many joints and it's on each joint it's like a circle it's like a circle well near the joint knees ankles like in wrists everywhere with, with any joints we have it also its chakras additional ones and when you do some exercise the circles like you're working with the with your muscles and with your, with your <coughs> joints you do exercise for joints actually you're doing good for the like you're making stronger you know, these additional chakras so and that's uh, so important and one more recommendation don't think too much about technology like technically goes through chakras by some exercise it works even like when you ready for that it works when you pure when you good person when you're doing something good for people when you know how to love when you sharing with the people uh, so it's and it's supposed to be natural the energy is supposed to this evolution like which is goes the energy and consciousness goes higher from chakra to chakra it's not supposed to be like a <coughs> forceful way not natural way only by exercises the energy will go up and you may feel stronger but you you're not gonna know what to do with this energy your consciousness not there yet so it's supposed to be harmony between your consciousness and between your energy the consciousness basically goes first I would say so don't force yourself if you read somewhere to do some strong exercise and to do it like a lot for some chakra it's not working that way it's the centers of consciousness and energy not just energy and opposite way if you're on look for your body like you just working with your prayers with, with your mind meditation and you forgot about the body you don't think about your health and stuff so uh, it's not gonna be good for your chakras also so you should do some some practices anyway you know at least not necessarily yoga but to keep the like, healthy lifestyle it's good for chakras and don't forget that's the the chakras made from energy challenge and when you're working on them basically what's happened what happens the energy the blockages goes away you know like cholesterol in our veins the bad energy goes away and the good energy from God goes in you know you're actually cleaning yourself on all levels on mountain level on prana level on all levels on spiritual level on physical level so you working with the chakras you you actually you cleaning your energy challenge 
in energy challenge it stays like some uh, <coughs> bad memories from before but for example sometimes it's like some knots we're calling yeah and the, when the energy goes smooth and goes easy like a blood goes easy like you're doing exercises and blood goes easier through through a system hard work and better the same thing the chakras chakra working like good like supposed to but the energy challenges are clean and in a good shape and what to do for them I already told you like for each chakra what to do in general it's like it's proper exercises you should read spiritual like things you should think about like why you're here you should help people uh, praying pranayama to the proper breathing exercises Yeah, proper diet so all these things helps to clean your system and make it stronger you help chakras chakras helps you that's both ways you can't say which is more important sometimes some illness goes from the body and hitting the chakra and somebody some sometimes opposite way something wrong with the challenge energy chance and chakras and then we have the problem with the physical body it's more often like that especially like with we have depression let's say and uh, it means some our challenge like block too long bad energy state was there you know like it's blocked it's uh, and you have energy circulation and not only depression for them and other many illnesses going on and opposite way when you're cleaning when you're working on them You stay in the nature. You have a lot, a lot of oxygen. Staying with the good people, with the high, like moral qualities, and uh, with the gurus, with the big energy, with the very high vibrations in the places like ashrams, holy places. you evolution grows so but everything like I said supposed to be in in time don't force yourself like don't take chakras like uh, like you're working with the muscle it's much more complicated you should be ready in here like with your consciousness when you're ready for something you do some practices for them better not to do opposite way when you don't know anything about chakra or like this practices like you're not ready like you not so good person and uh, you're doing drugs alcohol you know, and stuff like that and you're trying to do some exercise you're gonna ruin everything you're gonna do damage to you and you're not gonna go any higher it's like a drug like you take strong drug and like your kundalini goes up your energy goes up and your chakras temporary like more active but then after that you feel worse so uh, balance is everything use the golden metal 
yeah it was a little bit slow and a little bit uh, um, mixed up something like that but but I did the best I could Okay. I wish you good moon, balance, find the teacher. Namaste.